Have you ever seen a homeless person around Arlington? Arlington, no, but Boston and Cambridge, definitely. And, um, do you feel like uh, the government should do things to help homeless people, such as house them, or do you think that uh, homeless people uh, should uh, take their own initiative to get jobs? A little bit of both, actually. I mean, the government does need to actually step in, but I think if a homeless person is going like, to use their money to buy booze and drugs, then it's, I mean, they're, they're just going to set themselves over it. It's really, you know, much care anymore. This is real quality, uh, real quality reading, you know, I mean, I may not be able to have a home, you know, buy a sofa, buy all these appliances that they got in this thing, but, you know, it's nice to read about, you know, I mean, they say people with positive thoughts have positive actions, and that's always how I've liked to act. If you saw a homeless person on the street, would you would you uh, give them money if they were asking for it? Yeah, I'd give them a quarter. But well, half what, the time what, shh! <laughs> You'll get your turn. <laughs> uh, what what if you thought that they were gonna buy drugs and alcohol with it? Would you be okay with that? Yeah, I'd still give them a quarter. Just a quarter? <laughs> yeah. You can't buy crack with a quarter. Well, after that, ask the top people that can. So uh, to get places, you gotta take the easiest route, right? And a lot of the time, that's the highway. You know, even without a car, it really does cut through some places really nicely for you. You know, when you see a big fat envelope like that, you gotta reach for it, you know, I mean... It may sound stupid, but... You know, as a homeless man, your biggest dream is, you know... Picking up one of those envelopes and finding, you know... Finding like $10,000 inside, you know? It's like a whole new life. Oh. I don't even smoke, but, you know... You know, cigarettes... Once again, really useful as a homeless guy. You know, uh, you're sitting on the street. You know, another big thing is, uh, another big thing is lighters. You know, you see a guy walking down the street, trying to light, trying to light a book of matches, light a cigarette. You stand up, you say, you need a light? You know, you know I got $20 from a guy doing that once. You know, it, it's amazing how decent some people can be sometimes. You just, you just show a little bit of compassion and they, they give you a world of gratitude for it. This is one of my favorite things about walking on the highway. I mean, it may not even seem like it, but you know, something like this can always come in handy. I mean, I mean, even if I wasn't homeless, I'd probably pick this thing up. I mean, look at how cool it is. Jesus. You know, I've, I, I really gotta say, you know, this place up here. It's, it's really one of my finest, one of the finest places in town for a homeless guy. You know, uh, being up here, you only see people come by about, you know, once or twice a night. So, you know, you set a pretty good camp there, lay down for some sleep. The teenagers hardly ever find you there, you know, unless they're over there bowling or something. If there was a uh, service industry that gave homeless people enough money, maybe not to, to afford rent, or buy a house, but really substantially more than they would get. Panhands, I know, would support that. However, if it's not substantial, I saw on the TV they were like giving homeless people just like five dollars to like hold advertisements. I'm against that because what you know, what is five dollars really going to accomplish? It's not going to accomplish much. Yeah. You 
this is pretty much, you know, a home sweet home for me. You know, I mean, I like to get right here in the middle, right in the median of the, uh, the highway. And that's, uh, you know, the, the one thing that keeps me, uh, keeps me safe here is these guardrails all around, you know, then I know nobody's going to toss me over in my sleep. It really is nice that even though I'm homeless, I can have a uh, real safe environment like this.